group has been together for quite a long time. Uh, he originally, I think they, uh, a lot of them started as doing crafts for one of the, as fundraisers for the church, and some of them did quilting. Since we've been working at the state fair, the, the group has kind of expanded into taking in people who are not necessarily members of our church and who are quilt lovers, who love to quilt. Well, I, my mother quilted, like everybody's mother, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, but I didn't quilt with her. I, you know, I, I was around the quilts and everything. And when I got interested in quilting, I guess I was probably in my 20s or 30s and put some quilts together. And then she belonged to a group like, you know, a church group, and uh, they quilted my quilts. So I really didn't start quilting till, oh my, probably 60s or something like 70s. I uh, quilted with my mother. She quilted too, and uh, I was never really very good. I wasn't good enough for her. To quilt on her, I'm sure if I put any stitches in her quilt, she may have taken them out later, which was all right. And my grandmothers both quilted. Well, when I was about, <clears throat> I think I was about 30 years old, our church burnt. I don't go to this church. I go to a church in uh, Warrington, Indiana. Our group, or our church people, uh, separated into groups uh, to raise money to rebuild the church. So one morning, and it was on Wednesday, I went to be with the group, and I had a choice. I could pick strawberries that morning, or I could learn to quilt. <laughs> I have heard this. So I said, I think this would be a good time to learn to quilt. So they let me sit down and, and work at it, and, uh, and that's how I got started, and I really loved it. Well, I must be an oddball around here. I surely am. My mother, our, nor my grandmother did not quilt. But the year I was 14 and I lived in the country, could not get a job, had to be home all summer, my mother said, you will make a quilt. And I did, and I still have it. And I did that for three summers. I only have two of those three quilts. But then I went to college and I got married, I raised children, I worked. and. But through all this, I did occasionally do some quilting. Well, I have been quilting most of my life um, at my grandmother's quilt frame. And then it was in about 1982 when I went, I visited the state fair and to the Pioneer Building and there are all these nice crafts there, but no, quil no quilters. So I applied for the job and for this group, and uh, we've been going ever since, and we've thoroughly enjoyed it. Some people are better at putting colors together. Other people are better at choosing designs. And uh, a lot of it is repetition too. By working together, we each learn a new something on every quilt we do, whether it's sewing or quilting or what. We try new designs, we have problems, we work them out, and then it's put up for sale at the auction. And, uh, as far as what I do toward the quilt, I quilt. I let them make all the decisions, and <laughs> when they're done with all their decisions, get it all together, then I quilt. <laughs> We have found out in putting these uh, quilts together for the state fair auction uh, that one person cuts and then another person sews. If everybody gets involved in doing cutting, we get different size pieces that don't fit together. And so we've, we've kind of figured out that one cuts, one sews, and then we all quilt. It's just another form of, it, of uh, artistic expression, I guess you could call that, because I think quilting is an art, uh, and putting a quilt together is an art, putting the colors together and the designs and being able to see it in your mind before it actually happens. 
I think the stitches are probably one of the most important things, and that's what we do. But putting together, putting the, the colors together, and uh, finding out that maybe brown doesn't go so well, or some other color doesn't go so well, so we'll trade that for something else. And There's a lot of things, too. You can't just walk in and sit down and say, hey, I can do this. You may not be able to do that. There's a lot of, a lot of knowledge in it that you just learn as you go along, or you can read a book and get it out, but it's better hands-on. Hands-on is better. The quilting will take in excess of 200 hours if one person did it. And so there's a lot of work in this, and then, we, then when we want to sell it, people say, well, what are you, why, is quilt so, why are quilts so expensive? Well, if you quilted for 200 hours, what is your hour worth? And what should we sell it for? And so that's why quilts are expensive. That does not count the time, first of brain power, just to figure out what we're going to make, which took <laughs> several months. Two or three months this time. Yeah. <laughs> and then the yes. gathering fabrics, um, sewing, cutting it out, sewing it together, and putting this all together. There's a lot of work in making a queen-size quilt. Mm -hmm.